All right, so recently I was recommended the Razer Nagachroma. I've been using the Logitech M57 rollerball mouse, and then I also have the Logitech T650 rechargeable trackpad. It's uh, worked pretty well when I was humming my laptop and would take it around everywhere, but some surfaces it doesn't really work on. I also have the Windows Microsoft Sculpt mouse and keyboard. That was my original go-to for a really long time. The Sculpt mouse has been pretty comfortable, holds your hand nicely, but the Microsoft Sculpt still required my wrist to be moving left back and forth, so I tried the um, different different mice and uh, the Microsoft M650, the Microsoft M570 trackball mouse had worked pretty good, but again, the pains were coming back, so looking for a new device. So the Naga Chroma, Razer Naga Chroma, I was uh, recommended this mouse from a few users on Reddit. I asked a subreddit, a Photoshop subreddit, what mouse they use on a day-to-day -day basis. There are 12 buttons by the thumb pad that are assignable, all with at a different height, so it's easy to find each one of them. And on all, there are 19 fully programmable buttons. So the mouse is lightweight and it feels pretty sturdy, not like cheap plastic. There's 12 assignable buttons here. There's the mouse rollerball. It is a laser mouse too, 12,000, no, 16,000 DPI laser mouse. It's primarily a uh, gaming mouse, but the ergonomic structure of it, my ring finger placement, fits really, really nice with a uh, sloped area. But pretty comfortable all around, hands laying down flat. And with my wrist pad here, relieves a little bit of stress and then it feels really, really comfortable. My thumb is able to reach all the assignable buttons here. Really comfortable, natural feeling thumb has easy access to the 12 assignable buttons here. The number 5 is elevated a little bit to give you the center base and lets you get to each one of the buttons really quickly. What I really like are these buttons uh, while I'm using Photoshop or building websites. Each one of them can be assignable to different tasks, different functions, multiple buttons. I've got copy paste. I've got an enter button. I've got a control T, control C, control V. And then I've assigned some to I've assigned some to Photoshop buttons, M for move, and um, different options like that it makes it really, really easy. All right, so this is the Razer programmable mouse interface. It's uh, there are tons and tons of options on here. This is customized. There's macros which I haven't even got into. Um, a lot of the functions that I have are easy enough to do as command shortcuts on keyboard, so I haven't even messed with these macros yet, but. Um, it looks pretty great, so depending on what you're doing, if you're doing some sort of gaming or anything like that, not outside of gaming, this seems like it would be great.
uh, some Chroma apps. I haven't, same thing, haven't really messed with that. The biggest function I've been excited about is the programmable mouse buttons. Um, oops, so actually, I don't need this. It's bringing up some stats, but we don't need that. We'll come back here. So I've got um, my first profile that I've made, or profile, if you will. Um, there's different key maps that you can do. So in game, there's key map number one right here. So the left click stays stuck in left, right click, scroll, sensitivity stage down, sensitivity stage up, scroll up, scroll down, backspace is number eight, which I don't even see number eight on here. And then number, oh, here we go. So number eight is going to be left click and number nine is going to be the right, which is number lock. So I think I assigned one of these, but I haven't really gone too far down here. So let's go to the side view. And this is been my, this is the first profile I created, but this is great. This is control copy, control paste, enter. Um, here's a cut option, uh, control open or control C for open. Um, these have been pretty good helping with Photoshop, um, being able to open new documents or like for this one, it's going to go and ask you default, which is default key number six, but I'm just going to say keyboard functions all I need, but there's also all sorts of stuff. You can do switch key map macros, launch a program, in-game configurator, multimedia, Windows 8 charms, and Windows shortcuts, or you can disable it altogether so in case you bump into it, but the keyboard function, I'm just going to do control T for a new tab. And now I've got number six as a new tab, which I constantly open up websites, copy text or copy something and need to Google it. So I, I'll highlight something and I can now copy, paste, tab, enter all in one quick action or with something in Photoshop, copy and pasting. So it's really simple and it saves it. Um, you can link a program to be using each one of these or if I'm opening them up. Uh, Photoshop, I can set up each one of these to be in Photoshop mode so that I can link a program to it, which is pretty great. So I um, won't be able to show you that at the moment, but that's it. It's pretty great. <clears throat> then we've got performance here. So this increases, decreases sensitivity, acceleration, something with gaming I haven't really needed to mess with. The lighting, which is really, really cool. We've got the scroll wheel has its own lighting the thumb grid, and then the logo. It initially comes on uh, spectrum cycling, where it just cycles through all the colors. Here I put on this breathing effect where it'll pulsate between this and this color. The thumb grid, I put it on cycling, and then the logo I think I have on a static color right now. So yeah, you've got all sorts of things you can manipulate it on here. And I believe that you can even link it to a different game so that an action happens so as you're clicking on inside and outside of a game you can say it's in here reactive so that you once you click on it it'll change a color which is pretty cool so just a little a little fun thing to do there um and it's enabled to use with a razor mat i haven't done any of that stuff and the same thing with um add-ons i haven't I don't play enough games in here, just in the VR space, so I haven't really needed to use this, but that's the kind of a rundown of the application there. Thanks. Thank you.